As the COVID-19 vaccine rolls out across Georgia, state's attorney general says scammers have been calling, emailing, and texting people asking for money in exchange for the vaccine. Brianna Richardson is live with information on what you need to look out for so you don't become a scam victim. Yes, Frank, I spoke with a woman in Houston County who says she's received at least five of those suspicious calls and the most recent call was last week. It just feels quite annoying because it's to the point where I'm blocking now. I don't know if it's a regular number calling or they'll have an 800 number. Carol Taylor says she's been receiving calls about the vaccine since January. It caught her by surprise because she says she never signed up for anything related to the vaccine. She says they've asked her for personal information. So they'll ask all that and then require a payment. And as soon as I ask, OK, well, can I give you a call back? Can I get your supervisor's information? They tend to hang up. Attorney General Chris Carr tweeted, sadly, during this time of heightened emotion, scammers are once again trying to make a buck by capitalizing on people's health concerns. Don't fall for scams requiring you to pay for COVID-19 vaccine. His office issued a list of things to watch for to avoid getting scammed. You can't pay to get on a wait list. You can't pay for early access to the vaccine. You can't buy the vaccine through mail, and you should never share personal information. Hunter Jones with the Better Business Bureau of Central Georgia says COVID-19 scams have been very popular. We've had people asking for Medicare card numbers, Social Security numbers. You should not be giving out any of this information. Jones says anytime someone offers to charge you for the vaccine, that's a major red flag because the vaccine is free. If you do have any questions about the COVID-19 vaccine, such as when you can when you can access it, I definitely recommend contacting the health department or your health provider or doctor. And Jones says there have been about 40 reports of COVID-19 scams here in central Georgia, so he wants people to be cautious. Live in Houston County, Brianna Richardson, 13 WMAZ News. All right, thank you, Brianna. Hunter Jones also says if you get the vaccine, never post a picture of your vaccine card on social media because it contains a lot of personal information. So far in Georgia, more than 1.2 million people have received at least their first shot of the COVID-19 vaccine. That's about 49,000 more than the start of the week. More than 1.7 million doses have been shipped to the state thus far. As of February 9th, CDC data shows Georgia vaccinations are going up. Now between 8 and 11 percent of Georgia's population has gotten at least one shot. We're still trailing at least five other states. Those are the ones in green, which have vaccinated more than 11 percent of their population.